creating nested interactive components was so much harder before. In this video, I will show you how to use the new Figma variable to create it in less than 5 minutes. Now, let's dive right into it. As always, if you want to follow along this video, I put the Figma link in the description below. So we're going to be working on this page and then I will leave all the initial state here so you can practice on your own later. And here we have background images that are just images that I took from Unsplash and then I have a black gradient on top. Then we have a navigation component that are just smaller versions of our background images. And we're going to use these to change from one state to the other. Then we have descriptions and then I took these descriptions from ChatGPT. And finally, we have a hero section where we're going to combine all of these components and make them interactive. So first, since these are all independent items right now, we're going to make them a component. So I will select all my background images, come here and create component set. Then I will do the same with the descriptions, select all the descriptions, make them a component set. For the navigation, it's a little bit different. I will create all the states first. And what I meant with that is I will create a state where this is selected, then the state with the second image is selected and so on. So we need two versions of these images. These are going to be the active version. And then we're going to create now the default version where it's not selected. So for the first state, these three are not going to be selected. So we're going to make them smaller. Let's change this to 200. And we're going to add a black layer on top that will have a 70% opacity. Now I will select all of them and create an auto layout. I'll change the gap to 32 pixels and I will center. So this is the first state. And then I will do the same now for when Paris is selected, New York or Tokyo. Now that we have all the four states, I will select all of this and create component set. Now that we have all the components we need, we're going to combine them on the hero section. So I will select this, press option to drag an instant inside my hero section. And I will center the image here. I'll do the same for the description. Drag an instance on top of these, maybe there. And now the same thing for my navigation. Now let's see how it looks in a prototype. I think I can center them a little bit more. But of course, this doesn't have any interaction yet. If you're liking this video so far, I only have one request for you, and that's to click the like button below. It will take you probably less than a second, but it really helps the channel. Thank you. Now to make these three components map with each other, the first step is to have matching names. So what I meant with that is, for example, if I want this state to match with this navigation and this description, I need to make sure the three of them have the same name. For example, right now they don't. The, this one is description one. This one is some random name. And this one is background image one. So let's fix that. Select my component come here and this will be Rio, this will be Paris, New York and Tokyo. And then I will do the same for my navigation, come here to my variants. This will be Rio, Paris, New York and Tokyo. And now for my description, the same thing go to my variants. It doesn't matter if the property name is the same or not, but the values need to be the same. So this is Rio, Paris, New York, and Tokyo. And now that I have matching names, like for example, Rio, Rio, and Rio here, I can go and create my, my variable. So I will deselect all of my components, come here to design and select local variables. We're going to create a string variable and we're going to call it city. And the initial value will be Rio. 
and also these should match with your variant name i can show you how it looks when they don't match let's call it rio de janeiro and let's come here to my instant remember you should go to your instant and then try to match this with a variable and you can see that here you have a warning saying that the variable value doesn't map to the variant so we're going to come here and change this to rio and now i select my instance and i can see that the warning disappear and i will link the other components too. come here to my variant select my variable and same thing with the background cool and now that all of my components are linked to the same variable all i need to do is to add animations to this component so to go to the second state i will select all of the parties images come to prototype and connect them here and i want to use smart animate is out 300 milliseconds and i will do the same for the other ones and now when i come to my prototype i can change all the components just with this interaction and something else i forgot to mention is that this is completely free and hopefully it stays like that so i hope you found this video helpful and this is just one example of what you can do with this new string variable that to imagination is the limit and if you want to learn more about figma follow me and see you on my next tutorial bye bye